Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this battery three tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the tempo of your samples and loops without affecting its pitch. Remember, you could always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas, or you can leave a comment right below this video. Okay, so when you work with ACID or REX files, you know, certain files that have tempo information stamped on them, you might want to adjust that tempo. But what you want to avoid is not affecting the pitch of that loop. So I have this loop here and I'm going to drag it in. Okay, and battery does a pretty good job of, uh, you know, slicing it up for you. So you can, you know, play all the parts pretty much like, you know, when working with reason or something like that and you cut up this, you know, the slices, but find the, the cell with the whole loop on it. So I found it here. Okay, and it's synced to my master session tem tempo, which is 90 BPM. Now what you can do is you can go right up there and just unclick sync and make your tempo adjustments there and it won't affect the pitch. Okay, you get the idea. And it, you know, it works out great, but the thing is, it doesn't sound very smooth because you don't have many parameters to adjust there. You just get the tempo change and that's it. What you want to do, highlight that cell, go to the cell tab, make sure you're in beat mode down here. And where it says length and sync, uncheck sync. So now you can make your tempo adjustments over here and I'll play it now. So you hear I made my tempo adjustment, but you hear little clicks and pops and artifacts and stuff. So what you want to do to smooth that out, go to the smooth, smooth parameter. So basically the smooth parameter will smooth out the fade ins to avoid those clicks and pops when making those tempo adjustments. So I'll play it here and I'll adjust the smooth so you can hear what's going on. It's real simple and you know it'll give you a very natural sounding time adjustment without you know getting those clicks and pops like I said before. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at Winksound.com.